Hey friends, welcome to Ivy's Fortress. I'm Ashante, your reading friend, and we have May's First Day of School by Kate Borubi, Words and Pictures by Miss Kate here. We have a friend, she looks very nervous, very anxious about her first day of school, but I think by the time we each reach the end of our story, she will be in a much more satisfied disposition or attitude. So, before we get started, let's get our friends' fingers ready and sing our friend song. One, two, three, go. Hey there, friends. Hey there, friends. Welcome to Ivy's Fortress. Hey there, friends. Hey there, friends. Welcome to Ivy's Fortress. I'm glad that you are here with us. I'm happy that you're near. Come along for our adventure. It'll bring you lots of cheer. Hey there, friends. Hey there, friends. Welcome to Ivy's Fortress. Hey there, friends. Hey there, friends. Welcome to Ivy's Fortress. All right, so without further ado, let's get reading. Okay. Hmm. Today is May's first day of school, but May says, I'm not going. With the help of Rosie and Miss Pearl, will May be ready to start the day? Sophie, what do you think? I think she agrees, she'll be ready. May's first day of school, Words and Pictures by Kate Bumerby. This is a Abrams book for young readers published in New York. Today is May's first day of school when her mother said, it's time to get dressed. When her father said, eat your breakfast. And when her mother said, Put on your coat. May said, I'm not going. Now, May, that's enough, said her mother. On the walk to school, her mother told her all about the fun things she would find there. Things like class pets and great big libraries and long wild recesses. On the walk to school, May thought about all the things that could go wrong. That's always room for failure when you think about all the things that could go wrong with something new. So don't do that. Things like, what if other kids don't like her? And what if she was the only one who didn't know how to write? And what if she missed her mother? And somebody's a little bit too happy to be dropping their kid off. <laughs> when they got to school, there were lots of other parents and kids outside. May's mother said, hello, how are you? Today is May's first day of school. And what a beautiful day it is. Well, isn't that wonderful, said a man. But where is May? May, called her mother, where are you? She's in the tree. And May answered, I'm not going. May wondered if she could live in this tree. She thought maybe she could. There was a mossy spot she could sleep on and she had a whole lunch box full of foods to eat. Then May heard some rustling. Hello, said the small girl. Hello, said May. Rosie, come down from that tree right now. School is starting soon, called the man from down below. I'm not going to school, said Rosie. Me neither, May, said May. Would you like a cookie? This is a perfect starting point for a good friendship in a tree, talking about how they're not going to school. Today is May and Rosie's first day of school, but they are not going. Parent mad, parent very mad. 
The dog looks okay. <laughs> Why aren't you going to school? asked May. Well, said Rosie, I'm not going because if no one will play, play with me. Oh, I read that wrong. Well, said Rosie, I'm not going because what if no one will play with me? Or what if I have to read? I don't know how. Or what if I miss my dad? Just then they heard the rustling sound of someone else coming up. Uh-oh, who could it be? <gasps> Hello, said the tall lady. Hello, said May quietly. We're not going to school. That's good, said the tall lady. I'm not going to school either. And she settled comfortably into a spot on the bottom branch and gazed out through the leaves. I'm guessing this is a teacher. Who are you? Asked Rosie. I'm Miss Pearl, said the tall lady. Would you like a cookie, Miss Pearl? Asked May. Yes, please, said Miss Pearl. Today is May and Rosie and Miss Pearl's first day of school, but they are not going. Looks like somebody's getting mad and agitated. Like, where are my kids? I have to go to work. <laughs> Miss Pearl, why aren't you going to school? Asked May. Well, she answered, I'm not going. Because what if the kids don't like me? Or what if I forget how to spell Tuesday? Or what if I miss my cat? May smiled at Miss Pearl and Rosie. You know what? We're all afraid of the same things. I'm glad I'm not the only one. Me too, said Rosie. And you know what else? You don't have to be worried about nobody liking you because I like you both. Me too, said Miss Pearl. And you don't have to be worried about making mistakes when you're reading and writing. School is for learning new things. And if we lived in this tree, we'd miss our families anyway, said May. Plus, we're out of cookies, said Rosie. A few minutes later, May's mother called up. School is about to start. And May said, okay, here we come. <gasps> it's our Today is May and Rosie and Mrs. Pearl's first day of school. And there they go. Oh, I could just cry. The end. Man, oh man, the uh, first days of school, I never liked them. I felt very lonely and I felt like I would get there so early because my mom was also a teacher. And my grandmother was also a teacher when I was in elementary school. And they would get bring me to school very, very early in the morning. So I'd find myself very alone until the school day started. So I'd be a little anxious. I feel like I wouldn't fit in with the other kids, but it's all right because everybody usually has similar problems. They may miss their family or they may think that nobody's going to like them. Or I think from my perspective, I didn't really care. I just love learning and I love school and I love being around kids that love learning too. That's why I think I should pursue teaching. Hmm. Who knows? Well, that's all I have for you friends today and remember, Good luck on your first day of school. You're just where you're supposed to be. Have a great time. Bye.